Hi Scorpio, welcome to your weekly love messages. I am back, back with a vengeance. I've had a bit of a break. I'm sorry I've been missing. I'm actually going to post a video uh, and pin it to the page, I think, because I've noticed that there's a few people out there just wondering if I'm okay, which I am. I'm all good. Um, I just needed a bit of a recharge, but we're back now. These messages will be your love messages for the first until the 5th of February uh, 2021. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down in the comment section below if you want. And also uh, these are general love readings, so they're not going to resonate with every single person every single week. So if it's not resonating with you this week, that's okay. Hit that notification button if you haven't already. And then go and check out one of the other tarot readers here on YouTube because there's stacks to choose from and there's some really amazing, talented uh, in insightful people out there, which is great. Uh, today we are going to look at your love situation, your thoughts and feelings, your person's thoughts and feelings, most likely outcome, uh, advice, romance angel, and most importantly, we're going to do a three card pick a card at the end. So that means that if the, the week's message isn't resonating with you this week, um, because guess what? It can't resonate with everyone every single week. That's impossible. You still get an opportunity to get some answers from the universe with a three card pick a card. So you can either stick around for the ride or you can skip ahead to the three card pick a card bit. Someone normally timestamps it down in the comments before below so if if you, it's you and you're the first one there please timestamp it because it will help all the, all the other fellow scorpios and i was going to say scorpions are you scorpions sometimes some of you are a bit scorpionic um <laughs> and and they're cross watcher spies of course all right let's get started please for scorpio i just realized i haven't put my candle on so if i find that I'm not able to channel as well. I might just pause, but we'll see how we go. Love messages, please, for Scorpio. Love messages for Scorpio, please. First to the 7th of February. Oh, there we go. Mm, transition. So I'm using um, the Rose Monaco Tarot. Today, this is a an Australian um, tarot creator. Is that what they're called, tarot creators? Um, she's amazing. She's from Western Australia. I picked this deck up over the Christmas period when I was visiting family over there, and I was absolutely it found me this deck, and it's been amazing. Three more, please, for Scorpio. Mm. Scorpio, you're impatient. Okay, things are moving forward. You want them to move forward quicker though. Uh, one more, please. Seven of Cups. Okay, so you've got a uh, transition here. Oops, oh goodness, that was weird. Um, this is the equivalent to the uh, death card, actually. So transition, this is you in reverse. So you are showing up in your own reading in reverse. So that always tells me that things are not quite right or you're not feeling yourself. And I think it's partly, I want to clarify this three of cups and the seven of cups, but I feel like you want, you want clarity quicker. You want things to move quicker. You're tired of waiting. Um, and there's a real forceful energy about this. You may be traveling or moving house even. Um, let's get some clarification though. What's the three of cups here, please? Hmm. To two of cups. I was afraid of this. I'm not afraid of it, but uh, I was worried that this is what this is. I vary. Most of my regulars know the three of cups. I don't normally read it as a third party situation, but with the two of cups here in reverse, you're wanting a decision, an outcome for something. You're wanting to see change in something, and this change is not happening. This may be around a person um, who has other options or has treated you like an option. Um, There's been some sort of disconnect or failure in your relationship though. 
Um, it may just be an emotional disconnect because of a third person. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean a third romantic partner. It can mean another family member, work, interference of some sort from a third party. Can I take one more, please, for that Three of Cups? One more for the Three of Cups. But it's, it's this third energy that is really creating tension yeah look at this queen of cups very emotional you're very frustrated very emotional big emotional out outbursts um i wish i could, could get some more clarity on this third element but they're not really telling me they're just telling me how it's affecting you um which is what you need to know at the moment i only ask what i'm meant to see um and ask for the rest to be hidden so obviously the third element may be different for all of you but in terms of how it's affecting you, it's probably affecting a lot of you the same way. There is a dis an emotional disconnect between you and your person. Um, it's causing you to be very emotional. Like I said, emotional outbursts, that sort of thing. You're very impatient for the situation to change and move forward because you want to be able to consider your options too. You want to move to a situation where you have options over here with the Seven of Cups. Um, I feel like you're waiting on their decision Tell me about the Seven of Cups, please. Yeah, you're waiting on someone else to give you information. Yeah, you don't trust your own, you're not trusting your own intuition. You could be dealing with a Pisces, of course, um, but it's really about you don't feel like you can see what options you have until you get some information here. You need the information to know what action to take with this Page of Wands. And you really, this is kind of the key of the reading here. Like you feel a bit stuck. Um, this, these two cards are tied together. This is the impatience of wanting to move forward. You don't want to wait around anymore. You're tired of waiting around. Uh, what is the three of wands, please? Three of wands in reverse. Balance. So temperance coming out there. Mm. You're trying to exercise patience, but failing. <laughs> I think that's, I think in your mind, you're like, I'm being patient, I'm being patient, and then you're not. Um, and it's like two steps forward, one step back, or one step forward, two steps back. Give me another one for the chariot, please. Yeah, Knight of Cups. It's like, yeah, like I said, two steps forward, one steps back, one step back with the Knight of Cups in reverse. So it's like someone isn't giving you the emotional connection, the emotional attention that you need. You're wanting to push it forward a lot quicker than they're ready. You're trying to exercise, you know, self-control and patience, which is what it says here in this card. Um, but I feel like as much as you're trying to do that, you're being torn into it's like the angel and the devil on your shoulder Scorpio where you're trying to have patience but then you know the, the little devil on your shoulder is going no just just go in there just let's push it along let's do something to push it along thoughts and feelings please for Scorpio I'm surprised that the magician hasn't come out yet it may still do that there you go four of wands so this is um, potentially a marriage or connected to a marriage or long-term commitment. You want, might feel like you uh, could have a marriage or future. Again, property is coming up. <coughs> excuse me. You may be – oh, excuse me, dust in my throat. You may be um, – yeah, this may be in a, a relation to your living arrangements here. You're trying to get a solution or trying to get some sort of information answer on maybe whether you're moving in together because that's what's on your mind is having this happy, stable home, home stable connection. I keep getting choked up, which is telling me that you're trying not to overstate your peace as well. And again, this could be where we're seeing you having some self-control and balance. Yeah, but you're trying to defend yourself at the same time. Like you, you want to speak, but you feel like you you can't speak, and it's you know you want to be be able to stand your ground. Um, although this other person seems to be the key to your reading in terms of you're waiting on them, you're also doing a very good job of not um, being a doormat, which is great. Let's take three cards for Scorpio's other person, please. 
you're really trying to defend your position, um, which may be out of your comfort zone, Scorpio. Three cards, please. Six of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. So they feel like there's an imbalance in communication. And that may be because they're sensing that you're holding back. Like I said, you may not be saying everything that you want to say. Okay. Yeah. They may be holding back their communication because they or what they really think and feel because they don't want you to get hurt or they don't want to hurt you. So they may be sensing that whatever information that you're waiting on might not make you happy. Um, or... Flip side, they actually just may be trying not to get hurt themselves and that's why they're avoiding a decision. They're putting the decision off because they're afraid of getting hurt over here. All right, let's switch the deck to good old Robin Wood. All right, most likely outcome here, please, in this situation for Scorpio. Most likely outcome for Scorpio, please. Okay, so this week it looks like you won't get the information that you're looking for, but that's okay. That doesn't mean you're never going to get it. Yeah, there you go, Nine of Cups. It's almost like not getting the information is actually going to work in your favor. And just when you give up hope with the six of, uh, six of Wands here in reverse and you think, oh, this is, you know, I'm not going to... This situation is not going to move forward. I'm not going to get what, my, what I want. Nine of Cups comes in. Because remember, this is the most likely outcome. It's like this progression. Empress in reverse. And the chariot. Okay. Ooh, okay. It's being very clear here. Because what will actually stop this situation from moving forward, like it's telling you the story and saying, yeah, you have the opportunity to have your nine of cups here, okay? It's here. Um, and it's likely to come in when you least expect it. When you, when you stop trying to force things or stop trying to get some sort of answer, get some sort of result, when you're not wedded to the outcome, wedded to the outcome, um, and you kind of learn to let go, that's when the opportunity, the universe will open the doorway of opportunity to you. Um, what will stop this moving forward is you being needy or uh, a little bit codependent, um, holding on too tight. This empress, when she's in reverse, she's a little bit desperate. Um, that desperation, that need to hold on, to be um, validated and loved, that's that's actually what will continue to block this from moving forward. So it's almost like you've got two pathways here in the possible outcome. Um, you kind of let go and let God, for those of you that are spiritual or religious, um, and kind of let the universe take care of things. Otherwise, if you continue to hold on, it will continue being blocked. There's a whole lot of really great information out there about learning how to let go. Um, there's heaps of stuff on YouTube at the moment. Uh, it is kind of tied to law of attraction, but it doesn't have to be. Um, but it's about the, like letting go of the um, the energy attachment, that feeling of thinking about things all the time or being aligned to or, or like I say, wedded to a particular outcome. It's the first surefire sure sure way that you're not going to get that outcome or it's going to delay you getting that outcome. Um, so there's heaps of meditation. There's heaps of content creators that talk a lot about it and it's really useful. So go check that out as well. Uh, all right, let's see what the advice is, please. Advice for Scorpio. So it's almost like you've got to take your hands off the wheel, Scorpio, um, and just let, let things unfold naturally, really. Look at this, beautiful. <laughs> it's like this is all about hope, the sun card, right? Um, light, happiness, illumination, understanding all of the information. You've got justice here, also about facts and information. It's like let the information just shine on in on its own. Let it flow in naturally um, because you will get that justice. You will get the information that you're looking for. You will get that balance and that fair result. Two more, please, for uh, advice. 
if this is about a housing situation with justice and um, the contracts that you're signing will actually uh, be, it's all happening in exactly the right time that it's supposed to and that divine timing will be when the best point is for you to be signing contracts. Five of Swords here in reverse. Yeah. You need to, again, let go of this, uh, this game playing, which is causing instability. Um, you may not see it as game playing, but I think it's more about control, that needing to win at all costs or needing to have the outcome that you want at all costs. And that's really, it's holding back your ability to get that stable outcome, that stable balance. Um, so again, repeating energies here, repeating messages, they, you know, they do it all the time, but they're saying, you know, you need to just let go and let, let whatever's flowing in, flow in because you, you're in your own way at the moment, Scorpio. Um, and you need to get out of your own way, get out of your own way. That was a terrible American accent. I'm really sorry to all my American friends out there. <laughs> all right, let's see what we've got for your romance angel, romance angel, please for Scorpio. Scorpio, your, your reading's a little bit short today. Sort of, uh, well, I cannot make this up. You all see me shake it, shake it. <laughs> I hope you don't see me shake it on camera. You all see me shuffle on camera. And then we get a direct message. Like there's so many messages in these cards. I think there's like 56 cards. How many is it? It doesn't say. It's over here somewhere. But there's, you know, there's a whole bunch of cards there. It doesn't say. With all very different messages. Now for this particular message to come out worth waiting for when I've just spent all this time saying you just need to be patient. <laughs> I don't know. Is it made up? I don't think so. <laughs> all right. So the message is pretty clear. It's at divine timing is at work. Whatever this is about, whether it's love, I think for some of you it is a house situation or living arrangement potentially with your partner. Um, but it, it's it, you're waiting on information. You're waiting on what to do next or, or something that gives you your next move. It's worth waiting for. Just be patient, relax, let it go, hang in there. All right, let's do your three card pick a card. So think of a question you would like answered. It doesn't need to be in relation to this reading because, of course, if this reading didn't resonate with you, you can, of course, get some information from the universe now. All right, let's go. Card number one, please. I'm going to select three cards. Whichever card you're most drawn to will be the answer to your question. So that's card number one. Card number two, please. And card number three. All right, if you were most drawn to card number one, your answer is yes, with a big exclamation mark. Love it. That one needs no explanation. Um, it's a big yes. So whatever you're asking about, the answer is yes. If you were most drawn to card number two, your answer is remain positive. So whatever you're asking about, positive thinking, positive affirmations, believe that it will happen and that will be what brings that positive energy back in and it will unfold as it's meant to. Again, pr pretty tied to this reading actually. I'd be interested to know how many of you resonated with this reading and selected number two. <laughs> All right, leave me a comment down in the comment section. Also, don't forget, if you do need a personal reading, you can find all of that information down in the description box below. I think I forgot to cover that at the beginning. All I ask is that you do read that information carefully because then it means that you, I don't waste your time, you don't waste my time, everyone's clear and we can get your sh reading scheduled as soon as possible. If you are most drawn to card number three, your answer is change a new direction, choose a new direction even. Um, if whatever direction you're heading in, that could be why you're experiencing blockages. There's a better way forward for you. So you just need to stop, reassess, change direction, and it, it may be a better pathway for you or an easier pathway for you. Okay, Scorpio, that's what I've got for you this week. Uh, hopefully you can kind of stay grounded and this was helpful for some of you out there don't forget like i said leave me a comment down in the comment section below i know the whole community is always up for helping people um, as they navigate through their issues um, so look forward to hearing how this has resonated with you otherwise have a great week and i'll see you back here next week talk to you soon bye